what's up y'all happy vlogmas day uh 16 so when you're seeing this it'll be the 16th um so it's like one o'clock in the afternoon i just finished with carmen's school work and i was talking to my yard people outside they just pulled up to do the leaves and y'all i'm gonna have a short little ramble just a short one if you live in a neighborhood that has HOA, then you probably already know that HOA is no freaking joke, man. It's so annoying. So I pay them to do um, what well, we pay them to do. So pretty much we have um, a family who does our yard for us. They run a yard business. They do the grass, the bushes, the trees, and the leaves. And so through the summer, they come every two weeks because of course the grass grows fast. But in the winter, they come to do the leaves. And maybe wondering like why we don't do it ourselves but we have a pretty big front yard and we have a huge 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 backyard and the backyard has a lot of trees too but nonetheless so i had to text them this morning well yesterday morning to come do the leaves because we got an hoa violation in the mail um like a few days ago about our mailbox they didn't have numbers on it that's a whole other story but I was like, you know what, let me get these leaves up because the leaves, they weren't that bad. And then we had a storm over the weekend and everything was shaking. So of course, when it stormed, a lot, of, a lot of the other leaves fell off the tree. And there's a big tree in front of my house. And of course, the leaves fell some more. So I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and get the leaves done. And so I was outside talking to them. And they were like, you wouldn't believe how many people like don't even cut their grass. Like you should be happy you guys have an HOA um, that will enforce it and kind of, you know, ride the neighborhood and give out citations. But I'm like, girl, these people give out citations for any little thing, like any little thing to give you a citation for. And it's annoying, but I try to be on top of everything, the grass, the leaves, all that stuff. But everything that we've gotten a citation for, we literally did not know or had no control over it. So um luckily they give us like 15 days to get whatever it is fixed or corrected and then you don't pay the fine but i was trying to be proactive because i'm like yeah i got a feeling if i leave these leaves on the ground for another week that'll be the week they do they drive by and i'll get a violation for having excessive leaves in my yard like it's just ridiculous and carlos did try to blow the leaves himself but that poor man, he couldn't do it. He was out there almost an hour. He didn't make a dent in it. So I was like, it's no point in you out there an hour with the regular leaf blower. Like, let's just call them. They have these industrial strength leaf blowers and they know how to get the leaves up and they move them all to the back into like a compost pile. So that's what they're out there doing. It's quite a bit of leaves. Um, and it's worth the money to me because I'm not, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not gonna go outside and break no leaves. Like if we only had like a small tree then I probably would, you know, rake the leaves with the girls, like the girls playing the leaves. But that's a lot of leaves and I'd be out there raking for days. I don't have time for that. But yeah, it's just, it's the craziest thing when you have an HOA that like, you'll be surprised. Like they have everything in this book that you cannot do as a homeowner. And it's just kind of like, it's so tedious. And to me, it's kind of petty. But then I guess I see the other side. Like if you don't have an HOA, how your neighborhood can look kind of bad you know if there's no rules and regulations and no one that's checking for stuff then i guess your neighborhood will have trash and you will have people who have like four or five foot tall grass so i guess it's a pro and a con to having hoa but yeah so i'm gonna go downstairs and go over carmen's schoolwork, um do some sight words with her really quick and who knows what else the day holds i gotta put this stuff away behind me and yeah. So I'm at Marshall's now because um, one of my friends is having a baby and I wanted to pick up some baby stuff. So, so far I've found these little bath toys and um, this little thing that goes on the stroller. I have to pick up some diapers and some other stuff. I'm trying to find stuff that like I would like personally. I don't too much care to buy like clothes and stuff because I feel like everybody buys clothes. I might pick up an outfit if I see an outfit, but like, yeah, I'm not a big clothes person just because I know that her family has bought a lot of stuff already. And I don't know, it's just not really my thing, but I see these rain boots. 
these rain boots are so cute do i need them no but i don't have a rain boot but i like them walmart has this shoe for i think 14 or 19. i don't know why these are becoming so popular they're like birkenstocks but with the fur i don't know how i feel about them i know i wouldn't wear them but they're becoming very very popular i do like this house shoe though but it ain't got no cushion mm -mm. see that's too hard <sighs> let me get on to the baby section Oh, this is crazy. I was just on the Croc website on Sunday about to order me some black Crocs and some white Crocs. And, um, mm -hmm. and now I see them at Marshall's for literally like not even half, like way less than half. Wait, why are they, why do they say 28? Cause their regular price 49. What's different about these? That's weird, cause they're not that price. And they're different from the ones that I have on cause the ones that I have on have the holes at the toe. But anyway, I was just about to order. Well, I probably still will order the white ones if I can't find them. But these are, uh-uh, see, it was meant, I was meant to come in here. Oh, okay. I don't know why they're in my room playing. Kelsey in this bonnet is too funny. Why you got a bonnet on, Kelsey? Daddy say it. Daddy say you need a bonnet? Yes. You don't. You just got a ponytail. A huge yes. ponytail. You get A. Y'all reading to y'all babies? Mm -hmm. How many outlets do you have, Kelsey? Two. You have two outlets? Mm -hmm. So I got them this book at Marshall's. Kelsey, stop, please. What does it say, Carmen? Okay, the, the Christmas. The what? The, the... You just said it. No. Yeah, the night? Night. Before? Before Christmas. You gonna help read it to Kelsey? Uh, okay. You was just reading it. Okay, I said it over there. Okay, so read it. Yeah, I got this book at Marshall's. I think it was six dollars. Uh, yeah, five ninety nine. And I try to buy books that. Um... What are you doing, Carm? Like, like. Rub that lotion in, please. You didn't even rub it in. You put it on so fast. Rub it in. Um, I try to buy books that they will hold Carmen's attention to help practice reading. Cause when I read regular books with her, for some reason, it doesn't hold her attention as much. But. Um... Paw Patrol, Ryan, she has an FGTV book that we read. Those hold her attention. I told Carmen when I got home that I had a surprise for her in the bag. She proceeds to empty everything out the bag to find the book. <laughs> um, they've already read it and opened it. Um, and I just showed them how to open the little pop-up, the flaps. So that had Kelsey's attention for sure, figuring out how to open up all the flaps and see what was underneath. Um, so I'm glad I bought this book. I saw it at the checkout line and I thought it was really cute because it was Paw Patrol and it had rubble on it. If it only had Marshall and Chase, I probably wouldn't have got it because Kelsey likes rubble, this one right here, and Carmen likes Marshall, this one right here. So since I saw them both on it, I was like, yeah, let me pick it up. It'll be a good read for the month of December. Um, so I didn't get to finish my errands. Uh, it started getting really dark and I just decided to go ahead and go home. But I picked up this stuff at Marshall. So I got this thing for the stroller. It's called a twirly whirly. Most babies like this type of stuff. Um, I think it was $10. Yeah, it was $9.99. It has a teether on it. It can go on a stroller or a car seat. Um, and then I showed this already. I got some little tub toys. It's a good little variety of toys and you really can never have too many toys once they get to that age because it keeps them busy and entertained in the bath. I personally love blankets and I like neutral blankets. So I saw this blanket and I don't know what color she's doing um, for her baby. I didn't even want to ask because, you know, it's, it's her choice. So. I got a neutral blanket and it's really soft, of course. And I think you can never have too many, especially when you have a baby, when it's kind of 
chilly out. It's not going to be necessarily, I don't think it'll be winter still when she has her baby, but yeah, it's a good blanket. Um, I've had a few by this brand before from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and I liked them when I had them. And I got a baby book. So everybody knows the saying that like, you know, reading to babies is super important. And truthfully, I did not start reading to Carmen regularly until she was around like six or seven months old. And so with Kelsey, I made a conscious effort to change that and start reading to her when she was like a week or two old. And I kept that up and I saw a huge difference in her vocabulary. Now, Carmen and Kelsey are completely different kids, but I do think that it is super important to start reading to your baby really, really early, as early as the first month, um, just to kind of introduce books to them and words and the textures and all that stuff. So that's why I bought two books for her baby because you just it's never too early to start reading and practicing and introducing kids to, you know, the fundamentals of reading so I got this book um they didn't really have a lot of books that were baby books that weren't kind of beat up so that's why I picked this dinosaur book I think this was four dollars yeah it was $3.99 and I like that because again babies need books I bought a pack of bibs I like these bandana style bibs for um babies especially the ones that have like this triple layer and the absorbent layer. So I got this pack. Hopefully she likes it. It's kind of neutral, kind of not, but yeah. And I got a pack of wipes because the wipes are always cheaper, like diapers and wipes. If you can find them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, they're always cheaper and Ross. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna give these to her because I don't know if she's gonna use Pampers or not. A lot of new parents, um, like first time moms now are using like Honest and a whole bunch of other organic brands. So I got them because if, you know, even if I don't give them to her, I'll use them for my baby. But I like Pampers wipes. I don't see anything wrong with Pampers wipes, but I haven't really asked her if she's decided if she's gonna use Pampers or if she's gonna try everything or if she's gonna stick to only organic diapers and wipes. So yeah, maybe I will, maybe I won't give those to her. And then I got another book called Baby Hugs and it's another touch and feel book. I love these kind of books for babies, especially for tummy time. Um, and I didn't really read it. I probably should have read it before I picked it up, but yeah, I thought it was a cute book from the cover something simple to read to the baby um, at night or just, you know, in between feedings. Cute book. This one was $4 as well. So got that. And then here are my Crocs. And y'all, I'm going to put a picture on the screen of the Crocs that I was literally just about to order. And then I'm going to search this one in the, um, in the search bar. But for some reason... Like I was saying in the store, these say to compare to, where did the sticker go? It says compare to 28, but these are not $28 on the website. Like these cost way more than 28. Yeah, Carm? I need to take my Oh, okay. You're going to take your Marshall? Okay. These cost more than 28 on the website. So anyway, I picked them up. Um, I got mine in the size nine because I am a true size eight and a half, but Bye. good night, baby. I love you. Um, Crocs don't come in half sizes, so I always get mine in a nine. And these were such a good deal, I could not leave them there. Like I said, I did want a black pair and a white pair of Crocs, but these are navy blue, so they will do. Um, and I wanted this style particularly because this little piece here is... So this part makes it different from the other ones that I wear. And the insole in these is more comfortable than the other ones that I have. Um, and had I, you know, tried them on when I bought the other pair, I probably would have got this style first. <sighs> Excuse me. Well, no, I'm lying. I did see this style because I bought my Crocs at the Mall of America when we went last year. And this style only came in like primary colors at the time. And they didn't have the lavender and I really wanted the lavender. So, yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm about to go put my gibbets onto my Crocs and take a shower and call it a night.